Hello and welcome. Today we are going to see the solution of the challenge that we shared last week. Let's start by having a quick reminder about the challenge itself. In this Excel workbook, I have two tables. First one containing the employees data. If you look at the design table, it's called data. I also have a small table here called filter list. I need to input a value from this department column inside this filter list. And then using Power Query, I'm going to filter this table based on the input in this list. Let's try together. I'm going to enter finance, right click and refresh. And here you go. All the data belongs to employees inside finance department. If you look at the original data I have, it has a capital letter at the beginning of each word, something like supply chain S and C are capital marketing M is capital. However, while searching any value inside this column, I'm going to ignore the case sensitivity so I can reach the department regardless of the way I input the letters small or capital. The solution today will be based on two ways. First one is using the user interface or power query editor, and it will be building on the merge queries. The second one will be based on M language or M functions. And I'm going to use two functions, table.selectRows and list.contains. For the solution using the merge, it is not exactly the one that I prepared originally because I received a brilliant idea from three of the participants, Abdullah Mash'al, Muhammad Rabah, and Levi Tamaj. So I used this idea, which is basically adding the fuzzy matching inside the merge. So I decided to add it to my solution. Let's go directly and try to see how to solve it using the merge queries. Here is my two tables. First one called data. If you check the table design ribbon, the name of the table data, the other one called filter list. The first one contains the data that I want to filter and the other one contain the list of values that I want to use in order to filter the data table. If you look at the two rows that I have inside the filter list, first one is finance, second is sales. And if you check how it is written, it is written exactly the same way, meaning that each letter starts with a capital letter. So at the beginning, I'm not going to solve the case sensitivity issue. I'm going to solve the main problem, which is basically filtering this table using this list. I already created two queries for each and every table. First one I called merge because I'm going to use merge for this solution and the second one called filter list. Let me select any of them and double click in order to trigger the power query editor. If you check the applied steps for the merge query, I have only two steps. First one is the source. When I bring the data inside Power Query using Excel.current workbook and then change type in order to make sure that each and every column has the right data type. Same for filter list, only two steps, source and change type. Let me go back to the merge query. I'm going directly to do the solution using the merge. From the home ribbon, I have the merge queries. I'm going to click. It will trigger the famous merge dialog box. On the top half of the dialog box, you will see your original table. I have the four columns. I'm going to select the department because this is the matching column that I'm going to use for the merge. From this drop down, I'm going to use the filter list. Again, I'm going to select the same column department in order to have the matching. If you look down here, you will see that I have five rows matching between both of the tables. The default join kind is left outer, but I'm not going to use the left outer and I'm going to tell you why. Let me open this drop down. I have multiple options. You can use either right outer or inner. I'm going to use inner because as you can see inside the tip here between the two brackets, you can see it's only matching rows. If you choose inner, it will exclude all other rows, meaning that the unmatching rows will be excluded. And this is exactly what we want to achieve in order to filter the original table. Once I click on OK, you can see that I have additional column called filter list and the number of rows decreased to only five. No need for this column. I'm going to delete. Some other solutions are received using the left outer. They just expand the column and filter out the nulls, but this is not efficient, a lot of steps. And also it can create an issue and I'm going to talk about it later. So no need for this column, just right click and remove. This query is ready to be loaded. I already loaded before, so I'm going to just close and load. And from right hand side, I can just right click 
and change the load option from load to I'm going to select table let me put it in column J and click on OK and here you go you have your filtered table let me try to add something like legal in order to test the query I'm going to add legal right click and refresh it's working perfectly no problem at all let me try to add sales one more time I'm going to write sales one more time right click and refresh nothing happened no duplication so the query is working perfectly and this is exactly why I used the inner join kind because if I use the left outer and you added the same item twice in this list you will find a duplication in the final output and some of the colleague that sent to me the solution they didn't take care of this and they have duplications in their solution because they used the left outer now let's try to add something like supply chain all in small right click and refresh nothing happened supply chain didn't included because you can see that it's all written in small letters and the power query is case sensitive let's go back to our query in order to try to solve this issue i'm going back to the merge query step and from the wheel on the right hand side i'm going to click in order to open the dialog box of merge and try to solve this issue if you look down the join kind selection you find something called use fuzzy matching as i told you before i received this idea from three of the participants first one was abdullah mishal and muhammad rabah and finally levi thamaj all used the fuzzy matching and let's try to do it together i'm going to select the fuzzy matching and then i have the fuzzy matching option fuzzy matching is working only with the text meaning that both columns selected need to be in text and it is performing something like the approximate match that we have inside the VLOOKUP function in Excel so if you just check the options from fuzzy matching you have plenty of options but for this case I'm going to use only one which is basically ignore case so I'm going to uncheck this one and leave it with ignore case using this fuzzy matching and ignore case will solve the problem of case sensitivity while matching or merging two tables let me click on ok and let's see what will happen you will find that the number of matches increased to 11 close and load the query will reloaded and everything is working perfectly now let me try to change the last letter of legal to capital l and enter right click and refresh still it's working no problem at all. I already created a new query. I called the query list.contains because we are going to use the mcode functions in this solution. Exactly the same data, the same original table. I have only two steps source and change type. I'm going to the solution directly. This time I'm going to just do any random filter i'm going to the department column i'm going to select any random filter let's say human resources and then click on ok you will notice that a new applied steps added called filter draws and i have only four rows because it's filtered only to the human resources if you go to the formula bar you can see the function used and it's called table.select rows if you look inside this function the first requirement is a table and the table is nothing but the output of the previous step which is basically the change type and then comma and here is the condition starting after the comma the condition that is used in order to filter the table and the condition is basically checking if the department column equals human resources but this all written after the keyword each because the keyword each is telling power query please perform this condition to each and every line of the table so i'm going to delete everything after each what i did here i just used the user interface in order to create this step in order to write the table dot select rows and just after the each keyword i'm going to use the other function which is basically list dot contains and then i'm going to open a bracket and look at the requirement for this list first one is list as a list so here i need to input the list of the values that i need to use as a criteria for the filtration and we all know that we have a query called filter list that we can use inside this argument so i'm going to write filter lists but you need to take care that it requires this list as a form of a list 
meaning that I cannot give it a table. I need to give it a list. And if I want to choose a list from a table, I can just use the square bracket and I can write the name of the column. The name of the column is department. So now I'm telling the query, please use the table filter list and choose the column department as an input for the required list in this function. Then I'm going to add a comma in order to put the second requirement for this function, which is basically the values. So where is the values inside your table that you want to compare? For sure, it is inside the department column. So I can just use again the square bracket and write department. Now I'm telling Excel that please take the department column from the filter list, put it as an input for the list that contains, and I need you to compare it with the column department from the original table. And the original table is nothing but the output of the change type step. When I click here, when I just hit the checkbox, you can see that the filter changed and now it is working dynamically. The query was originally loaded as connection only. So I'm going to use close and load and I can again change the load option from here, right click and then load to. Let me select table and I can put it in column O and click on OK. You can easily notice that it captured only finance and sales from this list and both legal and supply chain didn't capture correctly because again of the case sensitivity issue. So I'm going back to my query and try to solve the issue of case sensitivity. Double click on the list that contains query. I can go back to the final step and inside the formula bar, inside the list that contains function, I have a third argument, equation criteria. So I can here add something to tell how the comparison or the equation can be done between both columns. I'm going to use another function and this function starts with the word comparer. So let me start to write comparer. And in this case, I'm going to use comparer.ordinal ignore case. Once you select this, it will tell the Power Query, please ignore the case sensitivity for any comparison inside the list that contains function. Then I'm going to hit the check mark. And here you go. You have the number of rows increased to 11, close and load. Both queries are now identical. Let me try to add something like marketing in capital letters. I'm going to the data ribbon and refresh all. Both queries are working perfectly, ignoring the case sensitivity and filtering the original table in a right way. Last but not least, and the part that I really like is just saying thank you for each and every one shared his solution with me or even a trial of a solution. But I want to just say a special thank you for three people. First one is Abdullah Mash'al, then Muhammad Rabah and Levi Tamaj. The three colleagues sent me the brilliant idea of the fuzzy matching. As I told you, I was not thinking about it at the beginning. Then I'm going to say thank you for each and every one. Mr. Samir Tubail, Fathi Taha, Shihab al Saghir, Amr Shaban, Anthony Sovi, Osman Abu Ziyad, Sharad Gupta, Omar Afakir, Ahmed Nagib, Jerry De La Sala, Ashraf Hawash, Mahmoud Abu Al Azm, Roy Wilson, Jehindara Bista, Ziyad Sharaf Shamsan, Ahmed Chanawani, Saeed Mbarki, Zahur Khan, and finally Amr Fouad. Thank you very much, each and every one. Please wait for the next challenge, and thank you very much for your time, and bye.